So in this video, it's going to be an extended closer look. For years, I've done these closer look videos, showed you what the action of the bait looks like, either by the drone or in the pool, did close-up photos, narration about the lure, but it's always been a shorter video. I've tried to keep them as short as possible so that they can keep you, so that they can keep a certain pace. But I've always thought that maybe I should be doing longer view or longer format videos of lures. So today is going to be the first one, and it's all about this live target ultimate frog. So the realistic action is pretty amazing, but is it perfect? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in this video. I'm going to tell you maybe some of the negatives about this frog. And while there are some negatives, there are a lot of positives, and this is really a great bait. But let's be up, I want to be upfront about it right off the bat. I'm going to tell you a few things that I found in using this because, I, like I said earlier, I'm using this a lot because it really does seem to get a lot of bites. So if you've never seen it, it's a hard plastic up top. It has swiveling legs that are soft plastic and they give you a couple extra legs just in case they break or fall off or whatever happens to it. The swiveling legs really give that action that you want. If you've ever seen a frog in the water, it, it, it looks like that. And when, you, when it moves, the legs extend. And that's what happens with this frog. But that swiveling, the swivels in here, or the legs as they swivel, do catch grass. They claim it's weedless, but if you are in pond scum or grass that's on top of the water, you'll find yourself picking grass off of this area or these areas almost every cast. Like I said, you can this makes very long casts, but as it, it's in the water, it sits a little, it sits like this, and then as you twitch it, then the nose goes down a little bit, the legs extend, and it has a tendency to grab grass or crap or whatever you want to say it right there. So while it's fairly weedless and does skate over lily pads and other stuff, if you've got that pond scum or grass on the top of the water, you're going to find yourself, I mean, really, honestly, there's a piece of grass right there. You're going to find yourself pulling grass off of it on every cast. So the live target frog has swiveling legs. They go up and down and they extend and it's very unique and innovative. It's the first lure I've seen like this and it gets a lot of bites. I mean a lot of bites. I've used this numerous times and I found myself getting a lot of short strikes. I think as you what you're gonna how you're gonna fish this is you're gonna make a cast uh, and then you're just gonna give yourself a slow rod twitch so that the bait just goes like this and the legs extend and then they come back to the normal position that is like that. That's how you're gonna find yourself uh, fishing this bait. What I found was either I was getting bites either as the bait was, the legs were fully extended or if the bait was, and I'm gonna to have to, this is gonna be a little confusing to do, if the bait was like this in its standing posture, in its sitting posture, you can see that's a, there's a, there's a little bit of a gap, not gap, but there's a little bit, that's a big bite right there. So a bass was gonna, was coming, a lot of bass were coming up and hitting it like this and couldn't get their mouth fully extended around both legs and the body to come over it. So they were just bumping it and pushing it forward. While I think, like I said, the, it's unique and innovative with the, the legs and the swiveling, I think it might be a little bit easier or a little bit better if the legs were smaller. Having said that, this is what makes this bait so unbelievable. The action of the bait really is fantastic. You can see a lot of grass there. And really, that those top areas caught a lot of grass for me also. So because the bass isn't able to get their mouth around the legs, they're just not able to get to the hook either. And so there was a lot of times that that hard that that bait that bass wasn't able to get to the hard plastic body, and I lost. I didn't catch a lot of fish. I was just getting a lot of bites. So if you've watched this far, you should hit that like and subscribe button. Become part of the team and family. It's really easy. Just click the button. 
So another thing I really wasn't happy about with this bait is as you make that cast, you're casting and it lands in the water like this, it sometimes lands upside down. Now it will right itself if you're in open water. So if it lands in slop like this or on a lily pad like this, it isn't going to flip itself over and right itself. That is a problem because then you, first off, you have a cast that is wasted and anything that's around there is probably going to see it. But also if it lands like this in slop, now you've got even more crap on top of this. I think in a perfect society, maybe they would put some sort of weed guard here and that might make this bait even more attractive and easier to use. But at the same time, maybe that might affect some of the action of the bait. But I found that it needed to be cast in open water or in my case, I found a zone that had a little circle and I was trying to cast into there let the bait, when the bait lands, let the bait sit and then right itself and then make that sweeping twitch of my rod, that long sweeping twitch of my rod to start working the bait back. That was the perfect way for me, and there probably is other ways it can, it can be done too, but for me, that's what I found uh, with the, the ultimate, the live target ultimate frog. I want to be very honest in these extended closer looks. I love this frog. I love this frog. I'm disappointed on the amount of fish I missed, but I think the pond or the frog pond, as I've said many times, the frog pond has a lot of smaller fish. If I if this is not for those 10 to 12, 14 inch fish, this is for slightly bigger fish that have a bigger mouth that can get their mouth around the legs and then get into that hook. But it just got lots and lots of bites. I mean, lots of bites. And I, I, I'm keeping it real. I own more than one already. I lost one on the first cast, which was almost devastating. As soon as it hit the water, I got a bite and lost it. Don't know if it was the hook. I don't know what it was. But, or the knot. I just don't know what it was. But overall, this is really an exceptional frog because the action and the way it works and the way it looks in the water is really the most realistic frog I've ever seen. And again, I just got lots of bites. So I hope you guys like this extended look of the Live Target Ultimate Frog. This one was kind of more the things I found wrong with it. And uh, if you like this kind of content and you want me to do more of these, just leave me a comment below and say, yeah, this is, this is very helpful for my upcoming purchases because really the closer looks are meant to teach you or to tell you the ins and outs and about the lure because then you can make up your own decision on yes I think I can fish with it or no I can't. I'm not here to tell you it's good or it's bad except in these extended view and while I think this had a lot of negative stuff about this I'm, I'll be honest, this is on, a, this is on the, a lure outside on Old Trusty right now. It's really exceptional. It really looks great in the water. Really, really looks great in the water. So again, comment below and tell me what you think. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Remember, take a good fishing. Get your fish on. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.